Hello guys, Dragon Goes Japan, and today another thought of the day. This one is about buying food in Japan, specifically meat products. So uh, being in Japan, you're gonna have to eat, you're gonna have to cook if you live here like I do. So uh, you gotta go shopping every month or every week. I, I try to go every week. Uh, but finding meat is probably one of the hardest things to do here in Japan. Uh, this being the fact that since I'm from America, I like burger, pork chops, chicken, uh, you know, the conventional land type of meat. Uh, where I live in Michigan, I don't have access to seafood. And I mean seafood is in like lobster, shrimp, squid, octopus, these kind of things are just not that common. And if they are available, they're really expensive. So uh, I'm more of a burger, chicken kind of person. But when you come to Japan, finding those kind of things is extremely expensive. Uh, and I'm gonna use Fukuoka and then Oita as an example. So when I lived in Fukuoka, buying burger was like impossible because it was so expensive. I mean, for just maybe half a pound, so about 250 grams, was like almost seven, eight dollars where I was. It was it was horrible. It was just absolutely atrocious price. Um, then I, I could occasionally find bur uh, not burger, but uh, steak every once in a while on sale, which that's overly expensive here. That's anywhere between two hundred and fifty yen a uh, for a hundred grams to almost three hundred. For 100 grams and a most you know any kind of decent sized steak is gonna be almost a pound so a little over 500 grams so it's, it gets a little costly um, but so finding these products is very hard sometimes especially when it comes to meat um, now living in Oita the prices are even harder to find because you're so isolated you're so far away from everything else so it's kind of like eh. but there's a good note um, if you look around you can find stores uh, I have one near me actually that's kind of affiliated with Walmart and Costco. I mean, uh, Walmart and Sam's Club. So they sell meat at a much affordable price than I had before. So, for example, when we talk about like per 100 grams, I can go there and get two kilograms, which is roughly about five pounds of chicken, for like $10. So like, it's really similar to America. I think it was like 880 yen is what I paid yesterday for it. It is ungodly cheap I mean I, I've been to other stores I cannot get the meat prices anywhere near what they sell meat for I just cannot I have looked not even close even hamburger there is super cheap I mean I can get almost the same equivalency for the same price so buying meat is really really expensive here I mean that's just burger chicken now when you're buying seafood um, since Japanese traditionally eat seafood a lot with their food you're talking like small fish red snapper octopus squid uh, any kind of seafood is going to run you a little bit cheaper uh, i don't really eat that much seafood because i don't know how to cook and prepare a lot of it um, and i don't eat a lot of sushi either so it's really kind of a hard stance of how you want to play it um, that being the case though um, when you do come here if you do come here and live here then buying meat and finding the right store is good. Uh, I always recommend walking around maybe three or four different stores in your local area. I, in Fukuoka, it took me a couple weeks. No, I'm sorry. It took me six months. Uh, a couple weeks when I figured out there was another store, but it took me six months to change where I was shopping to go look around because there were so many stores, and I had just traditionally hit one store, and that would, was kind of my downfall because it cost me a lot of extra money. Uh, in the long run, but I did learn a valuable lesson about shopping around more because some places carried cheaper things, some places didn't. It just depends on what you're looking for and how much you want to buy. Um, but yeah, you can do that very easily. Uh, it's pretty simple to just keep kind of following that cycle of finding meat that's cheap and affordable. Um, but if you like me and you like your, you know, your nice thick dense meat like chicken and pork and beef, you're going to be spending a little bit of money without shop unless you shop around. Um, now, I actually bought, uh, like, a kind of beef, kind of like steakums, so it's like like thin strips of beef that I make sandwiches out of. That's normally okay. That's about, they sell them for about 700 grams for, like, about $10. Not the greatest, because it's about a pound and a half for the pricing, but for what I can get out of the food, I can get about four or five meals. I mean, if i smart, I can get about four or five meals out of it for that little bit of beef. So, I recommend it as always, shop around, look for your meat prices, uh... Yeah, we need, J Japanese don't eat as much like land meat, I would say, as everybody else. 
which is your domesticated animals. They're working on transitioning towards the prices, but the same problem goes with everything else. So it takes time and effort. So, but yeah, I wanted to thank you guys all for watching today. Please like, comment, subscribe. Turn that notification bell on so you know when we post new things all the time. And if you guys have anything you guys want me to talk about, please put it in the comment section down below. All right, guys. Have fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.